we are back with more loop hero i'm trying to decide if i want to upload this every day just because i want to play a bunch of it or every other day so that i don't burn out on it plus i'm playing a bunch of other stuff and i should be streaming by the time you see this this decision will already have been made let's do another expedition right swamp spawns a mosquito sounds bad all healing effects are lethal here, except for potions. They're still on your side. I have to see if this drops some kind of cool loot, but mosquitoes sound terrible to me. I kind of want the armory so that I start decked out in gear. Cemetery every three days. Okay, so I found out I don't want these right at the start because I want those battle chests. And I don't know if I want them like back to back since that doesn't seem to do anything for me. I should have placed more cemeteries last time to see if it did anything. This does look like the same map. No, the campfire's in a different spot. No, this part looks different. This part looks the same, though. I kind of want the vampire to go up there. Yeah. Second cemetery. Are corners good for this? Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna save the meadow for right now. Do I need the heal? Wow, oh, we're good. That setup last time with tons of weak enemies. I mean, the main thing was I had really good items. Yeah, I definitely have more room here for 5x5s. Five five don't think 5x5s five five are a thing, though. Still. Leave room as if it is. We got our first resource. Swamp. Swamp scares me a bit. Do I really want it near the end? Saving that meadow. The grove goes here. <laughs> kind of wonder if I place the middle piece flat. It shouldn't matter. No, I don't think it matters. Okay, let's do this. Keeping the meadow. In case I get three treasuries again. My loot was just crazy last time. Okay. Decent. For loop two, I'll take it. Two shot a skeleton. Why do you give me two of the same thing? I'm happy with what I got. Four enemies. That did raise my current HP a little bit, I think. Not like as much as I would hope for, but a little bit. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, we're doing it. I'm evading like crazy. 15% evasion. 
wonder what happens when you get those numbers really high. I'm sure it won't give you 100%, but... Ten percent counter. Counter does seem good. Asian also seems good. So really, this place in the center doesn't get three bonuses, where this one does get two. So these corner ones are more important. Can almost one shot a slime. Okay, so I don't know if I want to place down one more because that would spawn the goblins, which scare me. Because they attack really fast and hit really hard. Maybe with high defense, it would negate a lot of their damage. Wait. 16%. Yes. 22%? What is this? Mosquito. I definitely was not leeching life, and I think maybe it hurt me when I did it. But I don't know that. Right, meadows want to go next to things. Let's keep holding on to them. I wonder if I got the treasuries from fighting those treasure chests. Holy vampirism. Okay. Vampirism, 28% on loop three. My damage is too low for that to mean much, but I'm evading a bunch. Before the end of the day, I could place all of these groves. Meadows. Groves. I kind of like that it's a bunch of weak enemies combined with a vampire, at least. Except that there was some crazy thing that spawned. That I did not fight, like a Sasquatch. I saw it, it scared me. Um, no. So now, it's about to be a new day. I do want to leave some room for... That leaves plenty of room. Treasuries. Okay. that I didn't want to actually place that. And I placed it right before a new day. So it's a day sooner that those stupid things will spawn. Okay, I think I just want the damage over the evasion. Kills more quickly and I steal more life. And I have 28% life steal, so that is significant. Okay, so that should work. Wasteland, wasteland, okay. How did I get a bloody road? Was it because I had a cemetery and a battlefield? That goblin spawned right away. Do they spawn every day? Once a day. Okay. We can do this. It's just one. Okay, it seemed much weaker this time. I didn't pay attention to if I got anything cool from the mosquitoes, but so far I don't like them. I do like these. Yes. That damage is so much lower. 
Wow. No. Gladius is better than a Dirk. <laughs> it's close to a new de day. I don't need the heal, though. Stupid mosquito is going to kick my butt. Not really, but I mean, I don't think I can heal off of it. No. Yeah. I took way more damage when I hit it than when it hit me. So I don't like mosquitoes much. And I didn't see it give me anything crazy. Somehow I am getting scrap metal. Maybe from making this mountain. If I destroy this village, does this go away? That's my next big question. Hopefully I get an oblivion to test it. Because what really scares me is like three or four goblins on one as they get stronger. The shield might actually be good against the goblins. High defense item. I don't think I want vampires. Okay, my life leech is really good. I do have a bunch of tiles. Cards. Alright, my thought process is... Meadow. Rock. Meadow. Meadow. Spider cocoons aren't too bad. I do want the blood grove right there. Oh, except it's next to a vampire, but still. Weak enemies. More meadows. HP per day is 27. I guess that's not a very big number. Max HP is plus 538. That is significant. Holy crap. Part of that might be from, yeah, 318 from the armor, I bet. Okay. Figuring things out. Doing big damage. No. I build on this bottom edge. Guess you just can't build down there. Okay, I could use an oblivion and a treasure room. More metals are okay. I did want a blood grow. I'm currently past that blood grove. I guess if I do get a treasury, I would have rather had those cards in my hand, but still. This goblin camp scares the crap out of me. My HP is good. This. Because they get enraged when... Yeah. Only one of them got enraged. Goblin leader versus goblin. Okay, it wasn't too bad. They seem to be attacking a lot quicker the other time. It still was bad, but not too bad. Okay. I 
healed more damage than I took that time. Okay. I don't like you. The next thing I'm scared about is those big guys that showed up on loop 6 last time. They shoot up after loop 5. For an idle game, there's a lot of stuff going on. Call it good. Okay, I'm doing good damage. Wait, chill for a second. Counter defense. Amber. Yeah, let's do it. Level 5. Getting more of those treasure chest tiles would be huge. And the treasuries, but... Those are big numbers. I've placed too many rocks. I'm stupid. I really placed another 10 already? Yeah, because there's some over here. And I want to do at least one more loop. Aren't I supposed to have potions? Potions. Three out of three. Pure damage. And evasion. No. What about these cemeteries? Okay, I really don't like the mosquitoes. They evade a lot. And I hurt myself when I like bleach off of them. Okay, I just can't hit him. When I destroyed that, it did get rid of whatever it's called. The thing. Could have placed a cemetery just to put the meadow next to it. Right. I do plan on doing another loop if I can, but this is a lot. Hopefully I get to heal, but there's going to be vampires in those too, so it's five enemies. Ouch, that skeleton hit hard. use a strong weapon right now. Not it. I like that this game is like a slight puzzle kind of. I don't want that battlefield right next to two goblin things, though. That created a blood path between these two battlefields. That's interesting. I did that last time, too. So it doesn't have to do with the cemetery. Or maybe it does, but that's one way to do it. Okay. See what we're about to fight. This next loop scares me. I think loop five, I'm still fine, but six. I might have to leave. We got another battlefield. I'm curious what happens when my cards overfill. Well, maybe they just keep overlapping. Or getting smaller. Ten percent versus sixteen percent. So the same level, but only having one attribute versus two attributes. The two attributes might just be weaker ones. <laughs> Starting in to eat into room where 
the treasuries could go, but I think this is worth it. Bam, that mountain is fully surrounded. Can I get two treasure chests on one square? Let's find out. <laughs> Hopefully. If not, that was kind of a waste. Okay. I don't feel as strong as I did last run at all. Putting down the vampires is scary. I don't know if they give good enough loot to justify having to fight them. I'm starting to feel like they don't. The spider co cocoons feel fine. They can also trigger a meadow next to them. Let's put that right there. HP per day is only 51. Yeah, these vampires. Starting to value that Oblivion card that I don't have more and more. I think I have to leave after this loop. This being right after the campfire. Unless I get something amazing, I think that's a deal breaker. I think the spiders are still fine. I think I can heal more off the spiders than they do damage to me. Blood growths, cool to put down. I'm about to go into a big fight, but with no vampire. 231 HP. This is important. Those dogs, or rat wolves, I think do hurt me. Quite a bit. I'm almost dead. Zero out of three potions. I was just gonna say, can I drink these? Crap. Looks like they automatically got drunk, but they only give 4%. Heals you by 4% when your life is in danger. Okay, heal. Close to the next day. Every two days. Should be fine putting this down. I don't even know why I'm putting it down. It gave a piece of wood when I walked through it. That is interesting. attention while I'm walking to if other things give stuff while I walk through them. Every three days. There's no chance that that's going to spawn. I'm not going back around. Every three days. Plus, I can make a triple swamp. Quadruple swamp. Okay, nothing special happened. What is this? Map completion. When this bar is filled, the boss of the chapter will... Hello? I was reading that. Appear on the campfire tile. I don't know if I'm ready for the boss of the map. I want to keep my death list for right now. Okay, I did get two rocks for coming to this tile. I might die. What makes a dark slime appear? Maybe just because it's loop five? Okay, I should be fine. 
not cool. The healing effects will still hurt me. I was thinking I'll heal in this fight. I'm hurting myself. Put that down because I get a piece of wood when I walk over it, but I think I just died. I could just leave. I'm not going to make it through these two fights. Keep 60% of all resources. I'm guessing I lose them all if I die. I think I can take the spider. I think I die at the harpy. No, because I hurt myself when I hit it. We're leaving. I'm a coward. <laughs> Listen. I'll take 60% of my stuff over 0%. I'm making an assumption that I get 0%, but it just makes sense. I can build a farm now. All empty tiles around the farm are transformed into gardens. What? After an expedition gives you one ration for every completed loop, but not more than there are garden tiles around the farm. So you can build something over the garden. Or you can build something over the garden. Unlocks the ability to craft food if the supply depot is built. Okay, that's another if the supply depot is built. Unlocks the wheat field card. So I want this to extend out on its own, kind of. So I didn't even want it to be next to that, really. Did you notice how strangely this oblivion affects our senses? I like oblivion. Hunger, for example. Why does this one have a red symbol? Two something. Available supply slots for food, too. Okay. Build. This lets me get a rogue. This lets me get the village. Special traits. This lets me start with gear, and it doesn't seem that far off. Lots of the metal. I get that for building the mountains. And I get a smelter. I get more than one farm. And the farms are good for getting the food. The food. I'm guessing the supply depot will need food. Cemetery, crypt. We don't need these two because I'm just never going to die because I just retreat. The coward's way out. Listen, the undefeated coward. All right. So that does it for my first day of recording this game. We've got four videos. I think I'll upload them every other day so it doesn't go too crazy. And... Yeah, so that's like my first week of play of this. Hopefully, you're enjoying it, and you give me feedback, and all that good stuff. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.